YouTube, what is up? Really sad day today. Today is the day that I have sold my 2018 Can-Am Maverick XRC. What a great machine this has been. Uh, it's a really sad day. Don't worry, it doesn't mean there's not another one coming. I wanna be ready for the new stuff that comes out in the next couple months. And I had a friend that was really wanting this machine and I ended up selling it to him. So uh, here's the uh, farewell, farewell video. Man, it's been a good machine. All you guys have XRCs, you know how badass they are. Been really, really cool. Tons of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Um, all the guys that have watched all my videos on the XRC, thanks. I appreciate it, guys. But yeah, don't worry. It's not that there's not something coming. I just got to be ready. You know, I want to keep the content fresh and fun. And uh, I think there's some new stuff coming out. And I want to be ready to purchase it if, it if it does. So, yeah. Love the XRC. I thought I'd just do this quick little farewell and maybe throw in some of my favorite clips and I make a cool video for her, but man, it's been a good machine. So anyways, guys, appreciate all the guys, all the XRC guys, everybody that's subscribed. I've had a ton of fun with you guys and a ton of fun with this machine and I'm really going to miss it. So we'll throw up a bunch of cool clips of the XRC, kind of the best of the XRC and uh, there'll be some fun things here in the future. All right, guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boom, XRC, baby. All right, let's get this this unboxed here a little bit and let's cut these straps. It's so awesome how they're so squatted down. That's an interesting way to break that. Get all the small zip ties. I love the blue. I don't know about you guys, but I love the blue and I love that they come with these Maxxis Liberty tires. You ready? Let's do it. Devin's gonna cut the straps. <laughs> RC baby. Boom. One. Ooh, there she goes. <laughs> Boom. Yeah? Yeah, go up and around. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Let's do some plowing. 
So I decided to get out my uh, Phantom 4 and throw it up and have it have it active track me. It's kind of nice. I'm always doing these films, these little uh, YouTube videos by myself. And today I had a cameraman with the uh, with the Phantom 4. It was pretty cool. He was able to just kind of track me while I did my thing with the plow. Uh, usually I like to tilt the plow when I'm doing like a um, a parking lot or a driveway or something. I'll tilt it to either the left or the right or swing it to the left or the right and just kind of keep pushing snow over is what I found as being the, the best way to clear. Uh, if you just try to go straight on it, it's just piling up and then you get stuff coming on both sides. But if you go from left to right or right to left, uh, it'll just keep cleaning it off to the one side. But yeah, here it is pretty cool. That's a really cool side by side. I've never seen it like that. Well, it was like side by side on its side. <laughs> oh. Just don't, don't show this to Jake. <laughs> yeah. Jake won't understand. Well, I wanted to do some wheeling, but that's not quite what I had in mind. Well, we wheeled it. So. You uh, just kind of came off and it just... Yeah, well, I tried to turn it, but we just I didn't realize it dipped so far right here. And I tried to gas it to turn out of it. No good. Wow, you just dropped off. It was a drift. You kind of popped off of it. Yeah, I thought I had the turn, but I didn't. Y you didn't? No, I didn't. <laughs> Fun ride. I had a little boo boo. <laughs> little tire problem. I've been doing some destruction the last couple of videos. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, that's not good. Um, so we ran back, got my spare, just strapped her down onto the other XRC. It worked pretty good. Now we thought it'd just be easier just to hook on. Go ahead and see if we can pull her up.
here. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, go now. Bomb through the pole. Jump into it. Do it. Do it, dude.
What's up YouTube and welcome to my 2018 Maverick X3 XRC review. I hope you're having a good Super Bowl Sunday. This is one of my favorite days to hang out with my friends and get together and just have a good time. But before the Super Bowl starts, I thought I would finish up my long-term review on the XRC. It has been an awesome five months of riding. Some of the best times I've ever had in my whole life riding in this machine. And I've loved every second of it. Um, I thought I'd go over my likes, my dislikes, my wish list, just kind of everything that I experienced in this machine over the last uh, five months or so. I'm going to put together kind of a, a little montage of all the fun rides that I've had over the last five months. It's about four minutes and 50 seconds long. If you do want to skip to that, you know, if you don't want to see those, go ahead and skip over that and we'll continue discussion, the, the discussion on the XRC. Anyways, I'm really excited to kind of do my final long-term review. I've finally got enough riding on this thing. We're just going to go over this thing top to bottom and pick it apart and uh, tell you why I think it is the best side-by-side -side on the market. All right, thanks guys. There we go. 